Model Making Guru is sponsored by eModels.co.uk, your one-stop shop for all your model making needs. eModels.co.uk, make something awesome. Hey everyone, it's Fox from ModelMaking.Guru here. Hello, hello, and welcome to another mystery package time. That time when a box turns up at Guru Towers and I have no idea what's in it. Well, I do have an idea. Well, a bit, I kind of know what's in it, but I don't. But it's, anyway, this box has turned up. Oh, bigly box, very heavily. It's about five kilograms. It's come from my very good friend, TK over in Netherlands. Over, over in Netherlands, that's not even a real sentence, Fox. Over in the Netherlands. Use all the words in a sentence. All, the, yeah, I'm a little bit hyper again today, sorry. As you will have guessed when I held this up, it's from the Netherlands because it's got lots of words that you say. It's Antal en Ing, which is obviously the relevant language. Uh, as you saw, it says 3D printed model kit and peanut snack. Now, I know exactly what the peanut snack is, although I don't know what flavour. Yes, but I don't know what the 3D printed model is. This is from my good friend TK, who's just got himself a 3D printer. <laughs> and um, he said, the first thing I want to do is print a thing off and send it to you. I'm like, OK, thank you very much. That's very, very kind of you. So he's got himself a 3D printer later. And he's, he's, he's I, I don't know what he's printed for me, but it's big, obviously, because it's a big box. Uh, unless, of course, the peanut snacks, which I know what they are, are very, very big. That's also a possibility. So let's get this box open and see what he sent me. So a big, massive thank you to TK for sending me whatever it is. Like I say, I know what the peanut snack is, although I don't know what flavour. What I don't know is what the 3D printed thing is. So that's going to be the fun bit. So first of all, we've got the knife of openings. which I shall now unsheath from its protective hidey hole. Three, two, one. Oh, three, two, I hurt my finger now. Three, two, one. Ooh, that was, I'm getting, it's getting disappointed now. It doesn't give me any trouble. It just kind of works. Well, not first time, but second. Never mind. Anyway, let's get this thing open. It's uh, been through customs. It's not been opened. So clearly there's nothing ropey in here. Well, you never know. You know, coming from the Netherlands. Yeah, you never know. So I shall get this box open. Well, it's been sent, as I say, by TK. He's just got himself a 3D printer. And a few of you have asked me if I have any intention of doing 3D printing stuff. And I don't really because, I mean, you're getting a 3D printer because A, I've got nowhere to put one. B, um, you know, it's not cheap. And C, I'm so technically inept, I just get it, break it, hate it, and just throw it in the bin. So, yeah, maybe one day. Now, I shall just get out any notes. There's a note in here. Hang on. Oh. <clears throat> Let me have a quick look. He says, hey there, Fox. I hope all the parts have survived the trip. When I found this thing online, I knew I needed to print this one for you. It's far from perfect, but I'm still new to this whole 3D printing stuff. Uh, the complete process of printing all the parts took roughly 85 hours, including fail prints. So I got a little practice out of it. The thing I printed for you was printed in PLA, so you will need CA glue to construct it. I think, I don't think he tells me what it is in here. I've removed the print supports on all pieces except the small fragile parts. The supports should come off quite easily. Uh, one of the big parts, 22 hour print, has failed twice. So I have printed a repair piece and fitted that together. There is a seam that I filled with green stuff. It should hopefully be almost invisible after priming and painting, especially if you do your magic. Please be aware that the wall thickness is 0.4 millimeters. So if you sand too much, there'll be gaps that need filling. The infill is 25%, so it is not a solid plastic piece. I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds good. There are print lines visible everywhere. They can be smoothed with sanding or other methods found on the internet. I only tried sanding so far. If you want the parts completely smooth. I hope you like the gift and have a wonderful time painting and weathering this. Hudu in bedankt. Teeks. Hudu, 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 hudu. Hudu and bedankt. Bedankt. Hudu and bedankt. I'll just, I know Mrs. Teeks right now is just like pulling her hair out because I'm trying to read Dutch. Yeah, anyway, yes, so, so I still don't know what it is, which is cool. I like the fact you didn't, I always get to this point when I read the letter out and I panic that they say in the letter what it is and then I have to pretend that I don't know what it is. And I like it when people don't do that. So first of all, let's put this box over to one side. Box, box, hang on, hang on. You can tell I get a cup of tea. 
Yum, 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 yum. You can tell I get excited with these things. I've got all flippy floppy. Right, I'll move this box out of the way. I'll wiggle the camera around a bit and we'll see what's in this box. Back in a second. Right, there we go. Right, so, first of all, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I need to move the camera, don't I? Let me do that. So first off, first thing in the box we have, <gasps> Oh, burrow newt, newt, burrow, burrow newt, beer nuts. Oh, I love these things. I so love these things. I need to, what I need to do is get a clamp. Hang on. Get myself a clamp. Clamp. I need to open them very carefully. Oh. 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 It's a cocktail flavour. I don't know what that means. Oh. Oh. Smell that, smell that. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. <gasps> he sent me these before and I've not had them since he sent them last time. Borrow nukes. Oh, mmm, mmm. They're peanuts. Mm. Ow, knocking the table. They're peanuts. Mm, nom, 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 nom. In like a crispy coating. Ow, nom, 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 nom. And they're all different colours. Ow, nom, 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 nom. And that one's rattly. Um, nom, 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 nom. Mm. Um. And they're delicious. Um. Nom, nom. And I can't stop now. Um. Um. Stop! Stop! Licking my fingers. I would sit here while they're eating them, but I'm sure you don't want to watch that. Oh! Burrow meats. Let's see. I'm going to embarrass myself. Duvis Burrow Newts Hacken You Burrow Complete Met on the Newton de Zogwuldig op Stwak und Knappenkreid Sein Geselektiert Zogenweih Wo Wat Extra Plischheit. I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds fantastic. Oh, I've got I've got peanut in my teeth, hang on. Oh, I need teeth. I've got peanut in my. Right there. I've got molar infill. Ah, oh. mmm, mmm. Molar infill removed. Oh. oh, they're gonna last me at least two episodes of something tonight. I'll sit there and watch something, and oh, I'll eat all of them in one go. Then I'll basically have kidney failure because of all the salt. Mm. Yeah, so Boral Newt's my absolute favourite. No, oh, I've just seen something. Oh. I've just seen something in the box. Hang on a minute. What? <laughs> what, uh, what, it, mm, what have you done? What have you done? Hang on. Hang on. Uh, what? Uh, I've seen it. There's a box. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What have you done? <laughs> oh, I'm almost afraid to open it. I said to him when he printed it, I said, is it a Jar Jar Binks? And he went, no, not Jar Jar Binks. It might not be. It could be just... <sighs> oh, let's get this thing open and see if it is indeed what I hope it might be. I don't know. Let's get some tape on it. Very nicely packed it. Black box and black box. And, oh, knocking the camera, sorry. Black box and black tape. Oh, I'm almost afraid. Are we ready? Oh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm just... Are we ready? Oh, oh, it's got foam in the top. Oh, I've got more. Hang on, he's hiding things. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, more things. I don't know what they are yet. Oh, oh. right. Hang on. It's very, oh, very nicely packed. Face plate. Okay, that doesn't sound like mohawk. What? Hang on, hang on. Mohawk. What? Fin. What? What is? Let me hang on. Let me get this out right. There's. Ironically, the box weighs more than the 3D print, but it's a very good box and a lot of nice padding. This will come in very handy. Right. Let me move this out of the way. That's a very nice box. <laughs> So, 
Let's see what we have here. Let's see how we did. I shall move the camera in a little closer. Move it in closer. This is gonna take a while to open now, isn't it? Because it's got all the wrapping around it. Um, let's just carefully go. Can I move the, do I need to, let me move the camera in a bit, hang on. There we go. Let's see what this is. Fin. I see. I get the impression maybe perhaps the Jar Jar Binks picture is just a bit of a Rick Roll, which I would not expect anything less, to be perfectly honest. Fin. What is. Oh, knocking. Oh. 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 Now we recognise that. Oh. Oh. What is this then? Let's have a look. Base cables. I'm going to be very careful opening these. I don't want to do any damage. Base cables. Let's have a look. It's only a problem with bubble wrap. You can't quite see where the tape is. I don't know where the tape ends and you begin. Base cables. Ooh. Tubes. Tubes. That's quite cool, looks like resin. It's quite nice and smooth, that. I'll put them there. We've got some tubes. And there we go, I decided to fast forward a lot because it was taking forever to open everything. Look what he sent me. He has sent me, it's a Gunpla, it's a Gundam. He sent me an RX-78 II head that he's printed with his own fair hands. And it's fantastic, it's massive. I guess it's probably like 1 35th scale, roughly, or something like that. With all the bits, you've got all these lovely, like the neck part here. These two bits go on there like that. And then you have the tubes, which go between those two parts. I won't put them on properly because I've got the wrong one for a start. But you see, they go in there like that. I've probably got them the wrong way around. So they sit in there like that. That's fantastic. Can I get the other one on, actually? Let's see if we can, see if we can get that on. No, yes, no, yes, no, yep, yeah, yeah, there we go. So that goes on there like that. Obviously, I'll have to, that one's not going to stay on, but never mind. Uh, that goes on there. You've got this piece that goes on top, and then that bit falls out, and then I've got to glue all this. You've got the head here. And more apologies for all the banging noises. Uh, you've got the head with the face mask, which I'll get on there. You've got the actual, well, the actual mouth mask. But, uh, falling off. Yeah. You've got the eyes there and the eye cameras and you've got the chin and you've got this face mask here that goes on like that. Oh, get on, get on, get on, get on. Go on don't fall off. Yes, that'll f I'll get that together properly when it's all sanded. Uh, and you've got the neck and all the other bits. You've got the crest at the top. Look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. Now I've got to say, um, considering it's his first ever 3D print, because he's only just got the 3D print, we've got the V-fin as well. Because it's his first ever 3D print, it's come out really, really well. It's got the striping on there, which you can see, but that's really subtle. And you know what? I'm actually tempted not to worry about that, to actually just incorporate that into the look of it. I might paint this in such a way that makes the most of this, but I don't know. I'm having some thoughts, I'm having some brain thoughts. What I might do is just end up doing little bits of clean up around, you know, the rough edges and stuff. But then actually embracing the, uh, the, the print lines, because they're kind of interesting. It's just got this kind of nice, like brushed metal look, so I don't know yet. I'll, I'll have a think on that. But that is really good print, dude. That's a really, really nice print. Considering you've just got the 3D printer, you've only just started with it, you've, you've done a good job. You've done a really good job. I think you've got your settings dialed in quite nicely there. So, uh, after a bit of fettling and swearing, which I haven't got the practice to do. Now you can see here, we mentioned about the bit, he's fit, the bit he's fixed. You've got this bit here where he's filled it in with some green stuff and done a very good job, I have to say. So that's all nicely put it in. So I'll, I'll see what that's like when the primer's on, if needed, I'll give it a bit more of a sand if it's, uh, but I think you've done a pretty good job there, mate. I think that's gonna be pretty much invisible. But yeah, dude, thank you massively. That is gorgeous. And I'm gonna have great fun painting that, although I'm not sure exactly what I'll do. Th I don't think I'll go for the standard color scheme. Like I say, I might somehow incorporate the steps into it. I don't know yet. I do quite like it. I do quite like the effect, because it's nice. I'm used to 3D prints when you got them and they'd be really jaggedy and horrible and like from like three or four years ago. This is actually quite quite nice. It's quite uniform and it's almost kind of attractive in its own way. It's, it's, 
let's embrace the medium i think is the thing i'm trying to say i don't know anyway yes that is brilliant dude awesome thank you massively i'm gonna have some great fun with that we've got some very fine detail pieces i forgot to show you those we've got the cameras uh front camera and the back camera to go in the mohawk you can see there lovely and we've got the little jewel to go at the bottom of the v-fin yeah, that is awesome ah, tk that is brilliant thank you very very much i'm gonna have some fun with that i hope i do you proud thank you very much for making my sending me your first ever print and thinking of me when you did it. and thank you for going to all the trouble of you know re fixing that and reprinting it 25 times and fixing that that's really awesome he's gone to a lot of work to do this so big massive thank you and hugs to tk uh, and i hope you have lots of fun with your 3d printer because i think yeah, i say you've got the settings pretty good there so colin will tell you you've now discovered a, a time of life where anytime you need to do anything or get an adapter for something or have a holder of some kind or you're thinking if only i had something to put this thing in you just make them you just make everything now. You won't buy anything ever again. You 3D print everything. <laughs> now, I'm looking at this bag of Boral Newts over here. And, and what I'm doing is I need to I need to check this one for test, for quality. Um, mm -hmm. That one was good. But I need to check this one for quality, actually. Um, yep, good. See, the packet's been open for about five minutes, so I need to make sure the quality is still there. This one looks like it might need a bit of testing. Mmm. Oh yeah, so TK, thank you very much for printing this. Oh, it's very very kind of you. It's awesome. I'll do some good stuff with it. Uh, in the meantime, though, thank you everyone else for watching. I better just check this one because it's not looking quite the right shape. So, nom nom. Thank you everyone else for watching. Nom nom. Um, like and subscribe. Patreon.com forward slash model making guru. Press the join button on this in my videos to become a member. You can help support our home. Support the channel. Oh god. This is like this is like a drug for me. And um nom nom. Adios and with the and the take care and be awesome and oh, nom, nom, nom. Nom, 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 nom. Ooh, look at that one. Oh. Okay, I've got kidney failure now.